Hi, my name is Dr. Ken Maggid, M-A-G-I-D. I'm a dentist in private practice. I'm director of laser dentistry at NYU College of Dentistry. And I am probably one of the earliest adopters of laser technology in dentistry. And we've been doing lasers for a lot of years, soft tissue lasers, hard tissue lasers. And there's a time in every technology that we hit a point where it becomes essential that a technology is a, becomes part of every practice. And you hit a moment where there's a game changer. And we've hit that moment. When we talk about soft tissue lasers, it becomes a question of how do you practice without it. If you're going to do cosmetic dentistry, I wrote a chapter for Dental Clinics of North America all about the fact that if you don't control the soft tissue, you can have beautiful veneers, but not a pretty smile. So a soft tissue laser becomes essential in doing cosmetic dentistry. If we look at restorative dentistry and the movement towards all ceramic restorations, which are super gingival, at the gingival line, looking at CAD CAM and the ability to take a visual impression. It's all very nice, but without tissue control, you can't do it. Numerous studies have shown that the best way of getting tissue control, whether it be gingivoplasty, without recession, whether it be crown troughing, without bleeding, without postoperative recession, all of the procedures you do in dentistry are better done with a diode laser than any other way of doing it. Double cord, radio surge, all the studies have shown it. It's done better with a diode laser. We have procedures like exposing orthodontic bands. If you're doing implants, uncovering implants, controlling the tissue around implants, so you get an emergence profile. I could go on and on and on about the procedures done to control the soft tissue using a diode laser. I guess the problem up till now is for a quality laser, and that means one with the power to do the job effectively, because power is an important part. You want the highest power you can control for the shortest period of time so that you don't get lateral thermal damage. A lot of technical stuff. The bottom line is you want a laser that's got the power, the control, the software that can really do the job effectively. Up until now, we have the issue of price. To tell a dentist he's got to spend ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars to get his first laser sometimes gets to be a hard sell. We've hit a moment in dentistry where we have a seminal moment, a game changer. If you can get a top quality diode laser with all the power that you're looking for, all the control in the software that you really want to use to use the device, and do it for under $4,000, now we have one that belongs in every practice with no reason that you ever wouldn't want to do it. Something that pays for itself when you hear about return on investment. Something that will pay for itself within months of purchase and can literally change the way you practice to make it more effective, more fun, with less stress. Can't recommend it more highly than that.